everyone, so today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I thought I would tell you guys all about my Christmas or holiday wish list, whatever you want to call it. And I've never actually done a video like this before, but I personally like to watch these type of videos from other YouTubers and just to see what sort of things they want to get for Christmas. I just think it's really fun and it's a really good idea to do for a video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and let's get started. So the first thing on my wish list is the Naked 3 palette. I'm so excited that Urban Decay released a new one. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that different because let's face it, the Naked 2 wasn't that different from the first one. But I just, I really don't care. I still want to have the Naked 3 so I really hope I'm going to get it and yeah I'm just so so excited. The next two things on my Christmas wish list are a little bit more practical and kind of useful they're not just things that I want and I just want to get. By the way I'm definitely not going to get all of these things that I'm mentioning in this video no way I mean people that I know have that much money to give me all these gifts but it's good to dream and I don't know just think about it you never know you might get all of these things so yeah I just want to mention that before I go into all the massive and crazy gifts I'm gonna talk to you guys about. So the second thing is actually a juicer or a smoothie maker. I'm not actually sure which one I prefer so I haven't really decided 100% which one I want to get but I just I love smoothies I love to drink juice and I think it'd be such a great sort of investment just to have at home and in the morning I would love to be able to make like a proper natural homemade juice and just drink it and not get sort of a store-bought one if that makes any sense and yeah I just think it would be such a great idea that other people can use as well. I've just wanted one for absolutely ages so if I do get this I'd be so so excited and it's just better for you to make your own juice as well so it would be kind of a healthy thing so it's not that much of a gift but like a health investment. That's how I'm going to look at it. <laughs> the second thing is a laptop case and this I've been wanting to get for years actually. I just don't know why but I never seem to find one that I like. It's never the right size, it never fits my Mac and it's just, I don't know, it's just so difficult to find a really good um, laptop case. So that is definitely something on my wish list. I don't know where I'm going to get that or where I should say to get that. I don't really know any online websites which sell just sort of laptop cases specifically. I'm definitely going to have a look online and hopefully find something quite nice. I do want to have sort of a nice sort of girly design on my laptop case and not just sort of a boring black one so yeah that'll be quite tricky to find but it's definitely on my list. Next up I have some perfumes which I recently smelled and I was blown away they are so gorgeous and I really hope I get them for Christmas. It doesn't even have to be a gift set just the perfume I'll be fine even a small size I just want to spray it all over myself so one of them is what is it called it's from Estee Lauder and it's the newest one that they released I think it's called like Modern Muse I'm pretty sure it is and that just smells so lovely. I can't even describe the smell to you. If you haven't smelled it already, please go to your local, I don't know, beauty store or department store, wherever you go and smell perfumes. Just go there and smell it. It's just such a girly, sweet and lovely scent. And I sprayed it on myself a few weeks ago and it just lasted for such a long time, which is really important for me. I can't stand it when perfumes just disappear like after 30 minutes. It really bugs me. So that one and the other one what is it called now, the other one is from Giorgio Armani and it's called C I'm pretty sure and it comes in this lovely sort of clear glass bottle but the actual perfume inside it's sort of an orangey coppery color and the lid is like a smooth black one it's like a sort of a petal or a drop shape and the bottle is gorgeous the smell I think I was reading online it smells of like black currants it has sort of a berry a little bit of a bitter scent it's a bit more mature and sort of sophisticated but I like that as well and that one also lasted on me for a very long time so it definitely does agree with sort of my skin and my chemistry so those two perfumes I really hope I get them. So the next thing on my wish list is a watch. I really want a new watch. My old one has a leather strap and that is like completely worn away. I should have worn it today to show you guys but it's a really lovely watch and I got it a few years ago for Christmas as well actually and it's a really really good one but Maybe I can change the strap actually, I don't know, but you know when you have like a proper good leather strap, it just sort of wears away and it goes like on the on the side that it touches your skin, it goes a bit sort of dull and not black, but just the colour wears away, it goes a bit brown and doesn't look that special anymore. So I really have to get a new watch, I'm not sure which one yet, maybe a Michael Kors one, everyone seems to be going crazy for those watches, so I might go and check those out and see what all the hype is about. They do look quite nice, I'm not sure if I want like a 
big sort of big dial one or more of a small elegant one I don't know we'll see the next thing on my wish list is a fashion sort of clothes retail store gift card and this is either going to be Topshop or Zara I'm not sure if they do gift cards for Zara if they don't then it's going to be Topshop there's always something I can get in Topshop it's actually quite annoying but it's good that I get a discount there so that's not too bad but still every time I go there especially if I go to like a really big one the one in Oxford Circus if I go to that one that has what three floors I think or maybe four floors and it's so big there's always so many things I want to get if not in the clothes section the jewelry or the accessories or the shoe section there's always something that I want so a gift card to that shop would be a really good idea so my final thing on my wish list is something from the Sigma website I honestly I'm not too fussy about what it is exactly it can be sort of like an eyeshadow palette I know they have some lovely ones or maybe some new brushes they just have so many lovely things on their website whenever I go and look online there's just always something that I want so I'm gonna have a proper look and see what I like so these are all my items on my Christmas wish list so far these are my ideas I'm sure there's gonna be loads more that I'm gonna add to it I just know that I'm gonna think of so much more but so far that is it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I hope it was fun and useful and just great to watch so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video bye